Okay, boys and girls, the number talk today is 18 times 5. Woo. So, I want you to try to solve this problem in any way you can. You can solve it in your head, you can solve it on your desk, but I want everybody to try to solve this problem 18 times 5. So go right ahead and see if you can solve it. Once you do it, you can just stick your thumbs up to tell me that you solved this problem. Some of you are still working and it's fine, but I want to see if we got um, any ideas up here. So let's see. Um, Will, I'm going to start with you. How did you talk about solving this problem? So I, I did an area and I oh. put it in Times five times ten? Yes, and then five times eight. And did you get fifty? Yes. And five times eight was forty. Forty? And then what? And then you add those two together and get the answer. And the answer you got was? Ninety. Ninety. Nice job. That's one way of solving this problem. Alright. So now I need another way to solve this problem. So Jay, how did you did you solve it differently than this? Okay, so how, tell me how you solved it. I rounded 18 to 20. Oh, so you did some rounding. You rounded 18 to 20, and you did? And then I did that times 5, and got 100. Okay. And then I took the, and then I did 2 times 5. And then you took the 2 yes. that you had, that you left, that you added on, and you times that by 5, and you got? Uh, 10, and then what did you do? And then I subtracted 10 from 100. And got? 90. 90. All right, I need a third way. So, Cameron, tell me another way. Y'all have lots of different ways to do this. I broke apart. You broke it apart, which is another way to say distributed property. Ooh, big fancy word that we're talking about later. So go ahead and tell me how you did that. I broke 18 into 10 and 8. Wow. And then did... 10 times 5, which is 50. So you did, okay, so then you did 10 times 5, which is 50. And then 8 times 5, which is 40. 8 times 5, which equals 40. And then, and then I added those two up together and got 90. Perfect. All right, we got any more ways to do this? Jonathan, I'll get you all. So did it, okay, Jonathan, go ahead. I just did it the traditional way, so okay. I did 18 times 5, so you First, you go up, you do 5 times 8, and that equals 40. So you put the 4 over the 1, and then put the 0 under the 5. Nice. And then you go the other way, diagonally, 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 4, which is 9. So you That's 9. Five. Good. That's a traditional algorithm. Do we have any other ways? I can't Good. believe y'all have come up with all these ways. So, Rome, tell me what you did. This is a fifth way to do this problem. I counted by five. Wow. So, you, I, I'm going to count by five. So, you counted by five? Yes. 18 times? Um, yeah, I drew 18 lines. So, 18 lines. So, and you did five? I put, and then I just, like, said five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then I just put a five on every line. I got it. So you count my fives, and I just did it. I did it in my head. 5, 10, 15, 20, all the way through. Wow. All right. So, Allie, you got another way? Yes, I do. Oh, my goodness. Tell me. Wow. I did lattice. Hmm? I did lattice. Oh, you did lattice. You're going to make me remember how to do lattice someday. 
Yeah. I okay. did a square. So you draw, you're going to tell me you did a square. Yes, and then I put an 18 above the square. Okay. And then like that, or did you do like a 1 and an 8? Like a 1 and an 8. A one and an eight. Did you yes. draw a box like this? Yes, just like that. Okay. And then I put a five in the side. Okay. And then I drew the diagonal lines to cross the boxes. Did you start do it this way? Yes, just like that. Like this? Yes. yes. Okay. And then I did one times five. Yeah. In the first box, first little triangle. Did you do like a zero and a five? Yes. Like that? Just like that. Okay. Because 1 times 5 is 5, and then you did... And then I did 5 times 8. 5 times 8, which is... 40. And you did a 4 and a 0 like that? Yes. And now what? And then I put the 0 slash 5 down, and then the 9. Oh, you add up the boxes. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then, oh, this, this should be the 5 over here. And then a zero. Then I got 90. Look at that. She got 90. Have y'all ever seen Lattice yeah. before? Some of you have seen Lattice? We're at, I might teach this at the end of our multiplication unit because it's really fun. It's pretty cool. All right. Can anybody do this multiplication problem any differently? Oh, can I do this? Yes, Wyatt, tell me. Wait, oh. this is a seventh way? Okay. Um, I'm trying to do the same thing as Cameron, except for I did 8 times 5 is 40, and 10 times 5 is. Um, 50, and I added up 50 plus 40, and then I made Wait, oh, okay, yeah, you did. And I, uh, yeah. Okay. That's kind of what I did. Okay. That's very similar. That's exactly what Cameron did. Good. All right, any others? Hoyt, Hoyt got one more way. Go. Oh. So, I drew, um. I don't know where to write it. Okay, <laughs> down here, eight. I drew a lot of. No, like, yeah, I drew 18 uh, fives. You draw, drew 18 fives, kind of just like this? Yeah. But you drew yeah, them, but, uh, and yeah. then added them together? And then I put them into groups, like, five, and then, like, added okay. all of them up. And then, once we, once all of them went to 10, they went to 20, and then to 40. And then there was one remainder group that went from there to there because there were uh, more, I don't know. Yeah, I just got you. And then 40 plus 49, which 80 and then 10, 90. Got it. Incredible thinking. You guys did a fabulous job with our number talk today.